Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the PJPT, the Practical Junior Penetration Tester Exam by TCM Security. Um, so I recently passed this exam after failing it. So I, so you, when you pay for the exam, you get an exam voucher plus a free retake. I ended up failing it the first time for reasons that are kind of dumb, um, and then ended up taking it again and passing it. So. For this video, I'm going to kind of talk about the certification, um, things that I did, you know, that may have been wrong, that I could have did better, things that I did right, um, that helped me pass. So, um, kind of just to start, I'm going to talk about what I did wrong and what made me fail. So, when I took the exam the first time, I took it very much as a exam. I took it as a pass fail exam just like you take in school right so I was like I won't fail like I will do anything in my power to not fail well that kind of bit me in the butt because when I sat down to take the exam I I had a protein bar and an energy drink that was all I had all day um, I woke up around 9 10 started the exam after like an hour um, I, I didn't do anything I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't eat anything, and all I did was sit here and take the exam all day long. So, I was able to, to do most of it pretty quickly, um, and then I, I think within maybe an hour, maybe two, I'll, I'll say two hours, um, but then I hit a major roadblock, which caused me to fail. Um, I wasn't, I, I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. I was going through the course, you know, during the, during the exam, it's open note, open book, um, so you can refer back to your notes and everything. You can look at Google, whatever you need. Um, yeah, I, I ended up failing because I didn't think logically and because I was mad that I couldn't figure it out and I was just beating my head up against a brick wall um, and not being able to figure it out. It just caused me to get more and more frustrated. I never once took a break. I just sat at my desk all day, literally for from the time that I started my exam until four o'clock in the morning so but I, I didn't even get up I didn't even like I think I took maybe one or two bathroom breaks like oh, I did it was very unhealthy not a good idea I, I had never taken an exam you know that wasn't a sit down for maybe two hours max take an exam and then you're done so this was completely new to me I, I just just trying to like figure it out as I went um so yeah I did a very unhealthy way of taking the exam which I ultimately believe caused me to fail because I wasn't thinking, you know, logically about the exam. I was thinking from a frustrated point of view, which was causing me to not think the right way. Um, definitely take breaks. That was definitely where I messed up. You know, refer to your notes, take good notes. I, I had good notes. I just didn't want to acknowledge part of my notes, even though I thought I was looking at, like, I, I honestly thought that when I failed the first time that you know, I had to look elsewhere. I had to look on Google. I had to look at other videos on YouTube. Um, you know, look at other references. No, everything you need is in the course. I did not believe that at first, but I can firmly say everything you need is in the course. You just have to look at it from the right perspective um, to not give anything away. Um, try everything. You know, if something is not working, try something else. That's basically the advice I can give you. And I know that's not helpful because I've heard that when, before I took the exam and I was like, this makes no sense. Just try everything. Try everything and I'm sure it will work out. As long as you have good notes and you follow along from the course, you have everything you know, that Heath goes over, you'll, you'll do great. You're, like, you, everything is in the course, like pretty much almost step by step on how to pass the exam. You just need to know what you're doing. Um, and like not necessarily what you're doing, but why you're doing it. Um, and then as long as you have that basic understanding, you'll definitely pass. Um, so yeah, that was what I did wrong, what I did right. And now I kind of want to just move over into the course itself. So for the exam itself, the PJPT, Practical Exam Penetration Tester. Um, so what is this exam? Um, so basically you'll have two days to complete your assessment of, so it's an internal uh, penetration test. So they will send you the um, VPN file so you will then VPN into their network from there um, this the whole 
part of the exam is you want to you know leverage Active Directory, um, your exploit that you'll learn within the courses um, offered by TCM. Heath does a great job going over everything. Um, I learned a ton coming from really no penetration testing background, no practical, I, like theoretical, yeah, but nothing practical. Coming over to this and being able to actually do stuff, I, I learned a ton. Great course, highly recommend it. Um, but basically, your whole goal is you want to move laterally, vertically through the network in order to be able to compromise the domain controller at the end. Um, so that's what you have two days to do. And then following that, you have two additional days to then write a report. Um, but I mean, the exam is 249, which I think is a really great price compared to other certifications that are out there right now. Um, especially if you are, I don't know if it's, yeah, so students, educators, active former military, first responders, you get an extra 20% off. So if you fall in that category, that's just even better. Um, so yeah, I, I recommend taking this. I will say every... When I went through the exam the first time, I was stumped. I could not figure out where I was going wrong. I was looking all around, trying every possible scenario to try and figure it out. Everything is in the course. I will say that. I thought what I needed was not in the course. I was trying to look everywhere. I had watched the videos. It wasn't a matter of what I needed wasn't in the course. It was a matter of that I wasn't just looking at it logically i was looking at it from a frustrated point of view and so i wasn't even able to think straight um but this these this practical ethical hacking class um that it will come with so basically if you sign up you'll get access to all of these not all these um but like the linux the uh, this one just came out i'm actually going through this course right now so the ai fundamentals adam or uh, andrew's doing a great job going through that right now um, but basically you, you will need the practical, where, why is it not, I probably don't know, but this is the main course you need. Um, you're going to learn all this kind of stuff and it's what you need for the exam. Everything that you learn in this course within this material is on the exam, um, on one shape or another. So, um, you basically will need to know, take really, really good notes. You can use your notes during the exam, you can use Google, you can use whatever you want, but I promise you, take good notes because what you need on the exam is in the course. Refer to your notes, take good notes. Um, I know I typically like to share my notes when it comes to exams. However, this course, I personally think, I'm not sponsored to say this, um, but I personally think that this course is fantastic. It does a great job of talking about everything you need to know in just penetration testing in general, um, you know, Active Directory, all, all that stuff. So I think taking this course is super beneficial. So I don't want to post my notes um, to, you know, my portfolio or anything because I really would like people to go and just take this class for themselves and go for the certification because it's very, very well done. Um, you learn a ton and it's just beneficial to anyone. I'm trying to get into you know penetration testing but anyway so this course make sure you take this take good notes um these are there's some other courses that you also will be able to take at like the program fundamentals um there's a the practical help that there's other ones you'll get to um but this is the main one the peh the practical ethical hacking class um and then also within that this is also you can go to heath's uh github page and from there, he also has his sample report. This is all, you know, I'm not saying anything I'm not, should, I should not be saying. Um, this is all within the course, too. You are, he, he has it online. Anyone can go to this. Here's the report. You can just download it. Um, and when you're taking your exam, this, so this is what his, on his GitHub page. Um, and then just use this in order to, you know, write your report. Obviously, you tweak it to what you find. You tweak it to what you have done. Um, this, obviously, you're, you're not going to use everything in here. Um, but this is a sample report. Great outline. Great way to, you know, have a, a base of a report and kind of just do your own thing off of it. Highly recommend doing that. I think Keith even says in the course that he recommends doing that. Um, it just makes things a lot easier, a lot smoother. Um but yeah, I highly recommend doing that as well. 
Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's my thoughts about the exam. I think it's a great exam. I think if you're willing to learn a little bit about ethical hacking and penetration testing, you know, this is a great course. Uh, the PJPT is like kind of the first stepping stone towards like a PNPT. I'm not sure if I'm taking that. I wanted to learn a little bit about the red team, to, like the penetration side of things. Um, and then now I kind of want to focus more on blue team, just because I know getting into cybersecurity, it's a little bit easier when you're trying to get into blue team. Getting into you know penetration testing can be very, very difficult um, without having a lot of experience. Uh, or so I've heard. So... Um, I will be going next for the blue team level one certification. Um, I have yet to even start that class, even pay for the, the course or anything. Um, but that's my next step. I'm currently, so there, everything that you need for the exam is going to be in the active directory section of this course. So once I did all this stuff, I got up to here, I stopped, took the, the exam and then now I'm going back. Oh, well, then I also did the legal document and writing. Uh, but now I'm going back and doing the wireless and web application penetration test and taking my notes on that. And then from there, I'll move on to the blue team level one exam. Um, but it was important for me to, I didn't want to overload, you know, with this, start thinking things were on the exam that weren't. So I basically just wanted to know what I needed to know for the exam, take it. And then after that, move on um, to other things and just see what else was, was out there. Uh, but yes, highly recommend taking this course. It is a great course. Uh, the exam is actually fun. When I went through a second time, I actually enjoyed taking it. It was, you know, I, I went from a, you know, if I pass, awesome. If I fail, whatever. Um, I was kind of just frustrated my first time through. So that's why I didn't film this video right away. But I went back, took it again, and passed. And now I can definitely say everything is in the, in the course. Um, but yeah, have fun with it. Just, you know, have fun. Um, TCM has a great exam environment. I, there were a couple of times I thought that the exam environment had issues and it wasn't it, it wasn't the exam, it was just me. Um, so just highly recommend this. I honestly can't recommend it enough. I learned a ton, go through the courses, take notes, take really good notes, and then from there just take the exam and see maybe if you wanna take the PMPT next um, and move forward towards that. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, please like, subscribe. Let's see if we can get to, you know, 50 subscribers. That's kind of my goal right now. So help me get to that goal. And um, yeah, please like the video. Leave a comment. You know, if this video helped you, hopefully it's able to help you. Um, or, or maybe other certifications that you guys would like to see in the future. So thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a good one. See ya.